Greetings to everyone. My name is Samuel Chupu Emeka. Welcome to the 2013 Alabama Educational Technology Conference. In this, vid in this video presentation, we shall create our website free with Weebly. So, you, we can start with a with an internet uh, browser. Let's pick Google Chrome, and we want to use a Weebly. So we can either type in the address Weebly.com uh, in the URL. This is called the URL Uniform Resource Relo Uniform Resource Locator. Uh, Informally, you can call it the address bar, or you can also type Weebly.com here, or you just type Weebly. So once we do that, we go to the website that we want to use, which is Weebly.com. So we are here on the website now. This is a new uh, Weebly. Weebly has. Uh, change their interface when I did this uh, workshop last year it was a different interface that Weebly had so that's why I'm doing the video again this year uh, let's go to my website for a while uh, you can go to Google you can type in my name Samuel Chupu Emeka or you can just and this is the link here you can also go to Samuel Chupu uh, you click on my picture to enter my site when you click on my picture to enter my site you click on a uh, presentations here and when you click on presentations you will see AETC Alabama Educational Technology Conference Create your website free with Weebly. This was the video I did last year for Weebly. It's about 14 videos. Uh, the notes, when you this is on videos, you click on notes and you see the notes. Create your website free with Weebly. And the resources. This is a sample website. If you click on resources, you will see the sample website I did with Weebly. Yeah, so basically your website should have a title. It should have a logo or picture. It should have a, some extra pictures if you want to. It should have a welcome address. Like, well, welcome, gr welcome or greeting, you know. You want your website to be uh, very entertaining, interesting and entertaining so that your students will keep coming back to your site. And of course, you should have a contact page for students to contact you. Even when they are absent from school, they can still contact you. It should also have some links to useful websites. It should have some menu, uh, some some uh, on the menu bar. It should have some uh, links. It should have your lessons so that students who don't come to school can, who didn't come to school, can also look at your lessons. Uh, then probably it should have some uh, assignments that you give to students who don't come to school. Then, of course, most importantly, you should have your cost syllables so that students will always refer to the syllables, assuming they misplace the paper version. So, there are a lot of things that uh, we can, there are a lot of things that are interesting about websites. You keep a lot of uh, materials there. Uh, your lessons, your even you give tests also. You give the links to the tests, links to the websites you use every day in the classroom. Uh, most importantly is the syllables as well. So, there's so many things we can do with the website. On an edu 
uh, as per educational level. Okay, so let's go back to where we uh, started. We will. I will now create a new Weebly account. I already have one, but since this is a new Weebly, let me just start all over. So I don't have a Facebook account. If you have a Facebook account, you can sign up with Facebook. Otherwise, I start with a new Weebly account. So I will say Samuel Chupu Emeka as my full name. Then the email. I will use a Samuel Chupu Emeka 0627 at gmail.com. Uh, password, let me just put AETC uh, AETC 2013 Of course, I'm going to change this password, trust me <laughs> Well, this is just for this presentation So you click sign up, it's free Okay And it brings you straight to this uh, To this page Telling you to choose a theme, you can easily change this letter. So we have several themes here, theme, themes, and we can still change it later. But uh, it's so many themes here. Uh, one thing about website is making a good decision to get a very nice design. Uh, I love designs a lot, so I usually take my time to pick what I want. Uh, but since this is just a presentation, we will just go with. Uh, let's go to just. Let's just go to one theme. Uh, let me use this right here. Let me use this theme. I really want to. You see, that's one thing now. Getting a good design is sometimes not easy uh, let me let me go ahead with this theme here so what when you point at it you just and you, uh, one thing here is like you can change the colors to see how it looks like you see the menu bar changes yeah with this new Weebly added more features they added more features so what when you point this you just click choose so you wait for it to load for a while and then you it brings you to this page choose your website domain your domain is the name of your address so that when anybody types in that name of the address it takes the person to that address okay uh please we i talked about this in uh, in the notes section so you can extensively read it now we are teachers we like free stuff so we don't want to register a new domain uh, i will talk about this more in the workshop we want a subdomain of weebly okay for us to get it free uh, now if you have a domain you already own but you want to transfer to weebly then you choose this third option but uh we don't want to register a new domain because it's money it's gonna cost us now we are going to uh we are going to use a subdomain of weebly.com so that we can get it free so what i will do now and i will explain this uh i will explain this when we do the workshop okay so uh the address will now be maybe anything you type dot weebly.com so what I will do now is I type Samuel, let me try Samuel Chupu Emeka dot Weebly dot com. So it says is available. Samuel Chupu Emeka dot Weebly dot com is available. It's shown with a green check. And then what I will now do is I click continue. And when I click continue, it says welcome to Weebly. This will this is like a uh, an introduction video okay you have two options there yeah? plan my side or build my side yeah i wouldn't waste time playing this video i'm a web designer already 
So I will go to build my side. And this is kind of how my side looks like. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Okay. Now, when we look here, we have the build uh, menu, design menu, pages menu, settings menu. And this is like a help menu. Well, not really a help menu. When you click on it, it says site planner, support center, report a bug. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the desktop view. This is the mobile view. If you want to uh, view it, how it will appear on the desktop is here. You click here. And how it will appear on the mobile is here. And whenever there's a there's an important thing here whenever you uh put anything on your side whenever you put anything at all on your side you click publish you click publish whenever we put anything on our side now we want to since we are since we just uh launched this site we click publish it now brings us to categorize your website Take a second to categorize your website. This will help us improve Weebly to better meet your needs. So you click on this drop down and you see the various choices you have. Personal, business, group, education, wedding, portfolio, order. We click on education. What category? Category is that I'm a teacher. Okay. If you want to design a school website, you click school. So I click teacher and I click continue. Then the next thing it says publish site. We want to publish this site. Please verify that you're human. So this is a captcha code. We call it a captcha code just to verify that we are human. So I type in the code country man. Now if you don't see this code well, you can click refresh and it will refresh it for you. If you click refresh, it will give you a new code. Like if I if you click refresh, it gives you a new code. That is if you don't if you did not see the first code, okay? So here is clean bulgari. And I after typing it I'll say okay, publish my site. So it says please please wait why we publish your site and then it brings this website published http colon uh, forward slash double forward slash two times samiashukwemeka.weebly.com now i will talk about this also in the workshop you can just put www.samiashukwemeka.weebly.com yeah it must not be uh hypertext transfer protocol http uh, please don't worry about this um so you say good news samuel chukwemeka.net is also available don't be distracted by these at all okay because once you click continue now it wants you to upgrade your 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 plan uh, that is uh, in other words, to have your domain name, yeah. So, and that will cost money. So, the main thing is that this has been published right away. And if you click on it, once you click on it, right away, it opens up to a new window where you have this. So, this is our website here, our new website. Uh, you can close this. Now, we talked about this menu bars here, the horizontal menu bars. Now let's go to the vertical menu bars. You have title, text, image plus text, image, gallery, slideshow, map, contact form. Then under the structure, you have divider columns. You have a lot of stuff here. So we shall talk about this as we move on. This is the first step. You've signed up and you've published your site. Thank you very much. Please view the other videos in the playlist. Have a great day.